time, guys. It's time for Legends in Action. And then I go to gym, okay? Oh, the two wins. The momentum is gaining. Going for a trophy. Oh, is that, oh that's yeah. Boaster. Come back, it's on now. <laughs> see you, see you it's about the journey, not the destination. Yep. Pete was saying that right now the current meta is something to do with double AD bot. Yep. And I was just thinking, double AD bot. Sheesh. <laughs> and then I was thinking, what we need then is a Kiana support. Okay. With that with that little sight. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you can play anything as support now. Pretty much. Boaster's so very cute. Level three is when you'll find value. If you go, you grab the ice, E, Q, yeah. W into the grass, Q, and run away. And you just keep repeating that until they're low enough for an all-in. That's my strat. Don't know if it works though, but in A-Ram, I've, I've been... never seen anyone do it, but it sounds... I'll try, yeah. I'll try I mean, it. Bro, the food has improved so much. <laughs> there we go then. Honestly, there must be a no meme. The quality of the food is good indicator of performance. World champion and Kiana support player. What can this man Can't like? lose if food is good. Oh, thank you very much, too. I hope you have a nice cream. We should have breakfast sometime. Yeah. I don't know why the camera is here. I don't know. I'm not the invite. Yo, Bolster, is that a. Is that a. That's a Yu Gi Oh shirt, man. Bruv. My man's got. He has uh, the blue eyes white dragon up in this bitch. Yo. I have some I, I have some people that are in the know of Valorant. I don't know anything about Valorant, but I've been told that Bolster is by far the best in-game leader in the whole world. He's basically faker of Valorant. I was told that if you put Bolster and Dirk in any team, they are instantly top three. Yo, Bolster's got some nice teeth too, dude. No wonder his fucking leadership is insane. Then they hear what I think they should do in league. Right, so. <laughs> I told Here we go again. <laughs> I told Pete this in the car. So you know you've got your lane phase, yeah. at like, before everyone hits level 6, there should be a, a phase where the game freezes, chrono break, whatever you want to call it, and everyone gets TP'd into a gladiator arena. They have this in the Oh, they do? And it's yeah. just 5v5, you just fight, and whoever this wins gets like This guy has been like playing play Walk bonus. of 3, yeah. like Angel like Arena. They have exactly that in League, but in a game mode. It's called... Uh, uh, Nexus Blitz. It's called, not always, it's like a Nexus temporary Blitz. game mode that they run. Come on, Reckless. Nexus Blitz? Nexus Blitz, yeah. There you go, and Pete knows. small games within this Nexus Blitz, which is yeah. exactly this. How high would that be? I like Marek's face here. He's like, should I say something? Ah, I see B. Small <laughs> games within this Nexus Blitz, which is yeah. exactly this. How high would that be, though? Like, before 6, so no one's got, like, ulties or anything. Because yeah. I played an ARAM, and at level 3, we had like two tanks, they had two tanks. It was the most fun A-Ram because everyone was just punching each other for ages. And I was like, this is the longest fight I've ever seen in an A-Ram. And I'm there, I can't remember what I was playing, like Scion or something. But it was like proper fun. I thought it'd be really entertaining to watch. Because like, you know, like the laning phase can be quite, um, if people are playing safe, like LCK does or whatever. It's just Farmville. So I was just <laughs> thinking, just fucking force the fight. Winner gets 100 gold. Yes. Every Winner gets a hundred yeah. gold. <laughs> Start the day with a bit that makes a balance at least. Oh, look at this guy. I've got two cameras on him. Yeah, you're so famous. Winner actually. gets a hundred gold. Oh, he's a page now. What are you doing, Hank? <laughs> what I'm doing? Taking out my dirty coffee cups because you exposed me yesterday. I'm a person with my own philosophy. You can't just do me like that. Disgusting. And now I'm trying to run away. Wait, I have the same bottle. This is top rated on Amazon. Alpha! <laughs> Can't escape. <laughs> Why are you out of breath, Pete? Because I'm old. Holy, look at Oscarinin's headset here, dude. He is fucking evolving right here, dude. You can ski on this shit. That is nice. That is nuts. I'm holding a heavy camera. We go for a run later, okay? We're gonna get you back to, to yeah. speed. 
I think there was certainly another dark hole feeling in this split. I think a lot of us were probably thinking that it's just going to be a rerun of whatever happened in winter. Sure, we were doing better in scrims, but we weren't getting the results on stage up until game five. And in my opinion, that was the game that changed everything. I think if we lost that Heretics game, because it was actually a kind of close game towards the end. It was very close. Banger team fights in that game. I think if we lost that game, there's a good chance this split would have ended the same way winter. The did. straw that really broke the camel's back. Really needed, honestly, to make the team believe that we can actually win and that we are good. Yes, so guys, well. Oskarinin is growing out his beard. I'm telling you guys, Oskarinin, when he has full beard, by the way, when he has full beard, free win every game, dude. First pick Olaf, first pick Jax, first pick Jace, 1v9. 100% dude, 100%. I'm telling you guys, this is the secret. In screams and everything, but then, like, we came to the States and we were not performing as well. Winning against Heretics and then against Koi was really huge for us. And I think it gave us the confidence that we needed. With all of the good stuff happening behind the scenes, with screams going well, the mood in the team being pretty good, I think all we really needed was that one win. After that, it was... It was fine, we could just play like we normally play and the way we normally play is pretty good as you can see. Our scrim, scrim results have been really good and I, I think what you see now on stage is basically that. The practice was decent, I think. The first day was not that good. But Let's I think be honest, eh? Let's be honest. Nightshare, Hiva and uh, Shavy Baby completely 1v9 the drafts. Completely 1v9 the drafts. Completely 1v9 the drafts. Give, give some motherfucking props to those homies. Because they, Jesus, they, they smurfed. On one was pretty well. I think we kind of stomped scrims, so pretty nice. Hey Oscar, Hi. how was scrims today? Scrims today? Scrims were great actually. I mean, I wouldn't say great. Did I ask you? Yo, Oscar, you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of a thing. The eyebrows and the eyes reminds me a bit of a thing. Wait, I have a World's thing. best gamer. Yeah, is, good? I'm good. is this true? It is true. You know what Nitro okay. reminds me of? Freeze. It reminds me of Freeze. Okay, I'm gonna stop. And, uh, I can go for really good. <laughs> you know what Humanoid reminds me of? Chris Evans. Captain Czech Republic. Everyone close their eyes. Passes. Open eyes. Oh, they're playing Secret Hilter. Close eyes again. <laughs> Humanoid is Hitler. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> why are you filming? That's his mega. Oh, yes. One on the board. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. I'm looking. Woohoo! Woohoo! Me? But this guy checked and he said I'm not, not Hitler or that's not... But he fucked up twice. Said, he, said, he said he gave choice to him, which he obviously didn't. And then I gave him a choice and he put a red, so 100% bad. I'm killing Marek. Bro, are you a Hitler? Are you killing Marek? Woohoo! Really? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> guys Dardo kills Hitler. Next day we cancelled. Dardo actually killed Hitler. We Razor got sick, but he only got sick on Friday, I think. He's still kind of sick, but he's getting some antibiotics, I think, so he should be fine soon. That sucks a lot, like to not scream because we only have three days to scream before the LEC. I think we are. Razor got completely fucked, by the way. My man's got we had 40 degree I fever. Think everyone has he was complete gg This weekend because we really need to win, like one. Minimum one game to probably for a breaker or two to just get into the top eight. So obviously it's really important. I think everyone like cares a lot. So everyone will be nervous for sure, but we will do well for sure. I'm confident at least on the team. So yeah, let's let's just see how it goes. All the sickness in this office is in this blanket. Like, it's it's the worst thing to do. The, actually, this blanket is cursed as fuck. I agree. Yeah, I'm feeling weird and like cold. That's how it started for me. Yeah.
The first day, it's doomsday uh, message. The first game against Excel, I had exactly what you're having now. When I sat down backstage and you asked me how I was feeling, this is exactly how I felt. <laughs> but you I'm not trying to alarm you or anything. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm already <coughs> pretty alarmed, you know? <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Oscar? Or you Come on, Reckless, stop jinxing your boy. I guess I'm immune now too, because I'll be pretty, pretty good. Fucking prage, man. Just hope the sickness doesn't land like until after the game. So I can feel it coming. You, can, you have all week next week to rest. Yeah, exactly. So I have to keep it at bay. You know? yeah. Are you what good? Did you, yeah. What did you play? I don't think I do. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I was carrying me my soaking gun today. I was getting really difficult, <laughs> but you just you were strong. <laughs> I was also you, tilted. You tip it both <laughs> <was> strong. <laughs> but I didn't want to go with my jungle. I was completely loose. Oh, I was crazy. This game was crazy. I'm the strong one now. I was so weak for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm oh, 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 oh. ah, This is something that I was trying to tell you in practice already, but if you don't see him, it, it's silly Hibi. He's thinking about the hang game in a different manner. He will fucking level 3 gang top, he will fucking level 3 gang mid. Like, he doesn't give a shit, and you, have, you guys have to respect if you don't see him. Every trade, they contest. Even if we're first on the objective, they will come and they will fight us. By the way, by the way, Respect to Nightshare, but this is Shaves' words, okay? This is Shaves' words. I'm telling you. This is Shaves' research. Man, I'm so fucking tired. But I'm gonna eat my banana before the game and then I'm gonna get overcharged. And I'm gonna move in nine and after that it's... It's Freeze's twin brother. I think Mad Lions, they are a good team, for sure. They made finals last split, but right now they are looking pretty bad, honestly. They look pretty broken from inside the team. I know they can be a good team, but they are not showing it, so... We can take advantage of that, I guess. Oh no, look at this! He didn't see it coming, he flashed up. Huge win. Oh, he's trying to turn the fight, but he's instantly coursing into the back, so I'm trying to finish up and he's carrying, but. Draft gap. Oscarine, this was Oscarine's best game all split, honestly. Oscarine played fucking good. There was an evolution of Oscarine. Week one, liability. Week two, passenger. Week three, actually, gaming. Was there for Reckless, and in turn, he will take the fight for them. He goes down in the end, but they're still going to win the fight. Mad Lions, there's not really an angle to fight here because Oscar Rennan is just going in. He's an absolute monster. Carson Ellie no head, but the unbreakable says not today, Fnatic. It's an easy, easy team fight, denying the last little bits of hope from the Mad Lions. Coming in clutch, outscaling, and outperforming. <laughs> Big one. That must feel Doctor, fucking good, dude. Hey, your voice comes tomorrow. What I have to rewatch is how we play with Jinx, how we protect her in team fight, because front to back we never lose. So if Lee Sin was finding a lot of kicks, or I don't know who was killing, if it was Silas or whatever. That's Lee, Silas, but also now, just getting back one. But it's mostly yeah, mine. Yeah. yeah, we can never stop them from planting. I think the issue is we commit spells. Yeah. Uh, to go on them, we should never commit spells. We always need to save, like Brom ult to peel for me, Brom shield to peel for me, Brom W. Probably it's a Johnny ult as well, maybe to peel for me when they go in. Like Kaisa jumps in, no, she, she gets uh, insta uh, ult. I shouldn't give my ult, I should give my Q ult. Anything, yeah. Because every, every time I died, it was because you guys used all your spells to go Arazor on Razor doesn't want to... Uh, if I have anything, like Brom on top of me, I don't even need two guys. Razor saving ult on Sejuani, yeah, it's impossible. Die, kill all. First, first reset, I'll take over. I just need one. Yesterday's game was probably one of our best ones we've played so far. Um, we had a pretty easy comp, uh, just uh, front to back with uh, Azir Jinx. The only way we could lose if we get flanked basically by Lee Sin. And it happened a few times, but uh, most of the time we took care of it. Yeah, we kind of managed to close it pretty, pretty easily. Honestly, it didn't feel so good to kill Hilly so many times. In-game. I mean, we really needed that win, but I really like Hilly. He's amazing. We had some iffy team fights again, but I think overall that was like pretty, pretty good game by us from from draft already being able to win bot. I think that that really helped us 
take control of that game. I mean, I think this split, we are way better and we are winning way more scrims than the last one. I think the first week we just had some troubles adjusting on playing on stage. I was not playing like me, like I felt... Marek is talking way more than he's ever talked, man. Well. I guess it was the pressure that got to me and I didn't think it would or I didn't feel like it, but then I got to the stage and I couldn't play as I knew, so that uh, sucked a lot. <laughs> uh, I think that way it was. I love Miss Moscarini, right? But there's an elephant in the room. You know, there's an elephant in the room. Mark engaged. Mark is engaged? What do you mean Mark is engaged? What are you guys talking about? Mark is engaged. You guys, what, what are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> I was like, bro, who is he engaged to? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say the elephant in the room, right? Is that they had one win on stage, right? And of course, it's not their fault that they have to play in the facility. They are sick, right? That's not something that you plan or do. I'm not saying that the. There's some kind of move there, but Oscarina still needs to prove himself on the stage. And winning outside of stage, you can definitely frame that in your mind in a very positive way that makes playing on stage a lot easier, right? Uh, but uh, still, that's a hurdle that Oscarina needs to overcome. Because in the game against Koi, Oscarina still played kind of meh, you know? Pretty well, yeah. That was not the best. From the second week on, uh, it looks like everyone is fine. So we. We play on stage in the same way as we play in scrims. That's why I'm so confident right now because we just played. We just played pretty well uh, yesterday and last week. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Hi. Hi. One, two, three. I'm lucky. Lovely. Lovely. I'm lucky. Lovely. I'm on the floor yeah. again, the floor. man. <laughs> uh, wow, well, everyone's. You're going to want to shoot him, yeah. Shoot him. You two at the back. Have you noticed? You do that. Shoot him. That's cool. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, that's lightning again. It's lightning. It's lightning. What? It's lightning. It's not a good phrase to say for, for a smile. Don't tell me. You have to say, Shakizi Ease. What the fuck? I do want to record me. Shakizi Ease. Shakizi Ease. How was the reddit you, sir? Uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm lightning. I would write one. Oh, oh. Upset, carrying, fanatic, as always. And that would only make sense if he was handing it down, but he's 5-1, kind of. No, no, but he, like if they win this game, that's so good for us. Oh, right? if they win, okay, yeah. If they win this game, it's so good for us, so for sure someone is just gonna get the three points from upset, carrying, fanatic, as always. That's, that's, that's tradition. I don't know what they will write. On Zeri, too. On Zeri, too. Like, it's... Bro, it's not upset, it's reckless as head after what happened in the offseason, man. It's okay, yeah, Reckless, man. You're your own person, man. Reckless. You're doing good, you're doing good, man. All good, all good. Come on, Reckless. You heard it here first. It's lightning, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be your ultimate on the commenting it. Nice, let's go. Yo, Swalaspa. We have the main man in the chat. Applaud to Pete, man. Pete. Honestly, Pete, I've been watching the videos of the other content teams. Usually I never do, but I watch Team Heretics, Mad Lions, man. What the fuck are they doing, dude? You have the best audio engineering, you have the best fucking filming, you have the best best cutting. Bro, everything is everything is supreme. Bro, Pete needs a raise. Pete needs a raise. Dan needs a raise. Uh, yo, bro, Pete knows what's up. I'm, I'm watching the Team Heretic one. Bro, I'm not engaged at all. All they're talking about is like, I feel like a three today. I feel like a four. I feel like a two. It's like, bro, I don't know what that is. Bro, move on, man. I'm bored, I'm not engaged. Now I'm engaged. Bro, I watched this. Bro, 15 minutes they flew by. P is the GOAT. Team BDS, did you watch us? I didn't. I did not. I did not. I think they are beatable for sure. I think and they plays are without not playing that well I didn't go to gym yet. this split at least. I feel pretty good actually. I, I feel kind of confident that we can win. We play so much better than, than at the start or at last split, so... Yeah. No, Lipid is even making uh, Marek Brazzalini talk somehow. Right now, so I'm pretty confident. Bro, I'm, I'm assuming that the person that is interviewing Marek like, has like the biggest milkers ever. And that is how like he's engaged. Or something, bro. I don't know what Pete has done, but Marek Brazzalini is talking in the interviews.
Crazy. We, we can win, I think. They are flipping sometimes a lot, so... Pete? Let's see what happens. Pete, ha Pete just confirms he has more Yoink milkers. Inside the pit, but it's Ansama that picks it up. The knockout, the quickness, the hostile takeover. Okay, here, here comes Razorko. Here comes Razorko. G2 More like G2 easy for Fnatic What are you doing, Cats? This is like me in the solo game I don't know if it's a Viking or fighting. Either way, makes sense. G2, give it, give it. How long have been waiting? Oscar, it is activated. Today, draft was really, really, really hard. We didn't know what to pick. We didn't get anything that we practiced. And huh? yeah, I mean, draft was really free, dude. That's, that's it's a blind <laughs> nightshare. Look at the draft, dude. They fucking 4 5 K Santa Silas. Come on, man. It's a blind nightshare, man. I see through this. I might be unemployed. I might be unemployed. But I see through this. Reckless on Sivir, not practiced. Humanoid on Azir. Oscarini on Jax. Come on, man. <laughs> Supers in multiple lanes. Just hit. Just hit. I told him to say that. Oh. With the bailout, Razor takes himself another turret shot. Here comes Broken Blade. Drops the Q, finds Rakan, and Vian's dead. Reckless is taking the next Nexus turret. All of a sudden, Cease and Desist comes up from Yon. He needs time. Oh no. He needs to find the oh no, Nightshare. I want to see Nightshare. <laughs> I was calling for triple and break because I knew that was 100% play so we would lose that game. And then there was another call being made to end. The most important thing is not really what we do here, it's just that we're on the same page. Because if I look at it you know, in hindsight, when I look back at the game, at that situation, if I just followed the other call, we would have actually ended the game. So that wasn't necessarily a bad call, just as how my call wasn't bad either. It was just that we were on different pages. We always fuck up, bro, at the end. Yo, Fnatic, you need to buy a fucking Nacho no. new suit. Come on, guys. Yo, he got you, got you to playoffs, man. Let's get Nacho a new suit, some new shoes. Let's make him look crispy hot, yeah? He deserves it, man. This suit is a little bit too small. We need to fucking Nacho. He deserves the best. Hook him up with that Gucci. Hooking up, hook, hook him up with that Gucci. Bro, he can have my Gucci suit. I'm unemployed. He can have my Gucci suit. He can have my Gucci suit. I wouldn't mind. He deserves it, man. Respect, man. Razok steals the Baron. Caps is trying to fend off the supers, but G2 may have just won this fight. Razok is running for his life because Reckless is taken down once more. And they're stepping forward. They need a few more hits. Reckless goes in. The damage is being out of the knockout too. Baylor won't matter. For that, I need a few more on top. It's not that yet. It's not that yet. About to it at the end of the fight. Bro, listen to the audio engineering, eh? The audio engineering, it makes sense, dude. It feels like I'm watching a fucking, fucking Christopher Nolan movie. Listen to that drop, yeah? <laughs> Razor is in the cave. How much you paid for these drafts, bro? Yeah, they heard you talking shit about Oscarinian, man. Oscarinian heard you guys talking shit. Fuck, we hesitated. Oh my god. You haven't seen it yet. Wait, have you seen it? No, we haven't seen it. At the end? Like the first end? <laughs> Wait, have you seen it? The first attempt? I was legit in the Harry Potter closet. You guys are trolling so hard. Like, uh, what are we doing? Like, the end is the most free end. And they would double dip in with solo laser and we lost two laser games. You guys are strong. You guys are strong. You guys are strong. Yeah, I'm saying that's a free end. Yeah, it was. How does it feel to win a match of the beat, Marek? It's free. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mario, yeah, bro. It's welcome. kind of free. See oh, it's like a top in It's crazy. She did it right for the Herald on the Sherry. And then on the Drake to the Silas, this was really smart. Like, really clutch plays.
the thing you did on ceremony. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was insane. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. That if I was, if I smite the second drink, I wasn't looking yeah, at my yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to say That's actually true too. Yeah. Pete did an interview with me in the beginning, and he asked, um, he asked me about you, and he said that I thought that you were gonna run down in the first game, and then you're gonna pop off. Okay, this is my prediction, okay? I feel like Oscar is gonna completely run it down the first games. Once he gets that, uh, that shit out, maybe we win like first two games, or like he starts to think, <laughs> I deserve to be here in LEC, then he will start popping off. In three mm. games, you died 18 times. You were like 0 18. Yeah, and then in two games, you are like 18 0. <laughs> Kinda. You are like 9 0 and 8 0. But good job. I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you. I think my experience with Oscar has only been really good. When he came here, he kept on delivering in scrims. Even against LEC teams, he was doing really well from the beginning. Really easy to work with, really hungry. <laughs> bro, bro, Fnatic's protocols on how to handle sick people is completely bombastic, by the way. Like, they put him in a cave, and then they go out and meet together, and they touch each other. <laughs> like, I don't understand any of these, these fucking... <laughs> these protocols. The protocols are mental. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. We were excited as fuck. <laughs> fuck the protocols. Plays a lot. Just something that I think, honestly, we were missing a bit in, in winter from all of the players. This kind of hunger to like be the best. It reminds me of this. Uh, next year. Passionate people. It's crazy, man. Like, passionate to be here. It's the Oscars fuck themselves up. Like, we're here, we're serving this. Look, the Oscars should fuck themselves up. This is the shit. I'm telling you, this is, this is the real shit. What is this? Is this uh, the interactive gaming? Look, I'm just saying this. Let, let me tell you. Uh, sorry, I'm taking it out. Let me just, give me a minute. I want to take your time. Look. Okay, can you swear here? Can you, you can swear? swear? Okay. Fuck the Oscars, you know? <laughs> fuck the Oscars. Fuck, fuck you. I'm telling you. <laughs> this, is like, this is bullshit. Look. Here's the thing. Yeah. The <laughs> this, is, this is the protocols. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, fuck the Oscars. To show everyone that you are something special, I feel like that wasn't really there in that team. And then Oscar comes in, he has that right away. Hank comes in, he has that right away. And I remember like the third or fourth day, Oscar was crying after scrims. This was such a like really strong moment for me because I see myself as someone that cares way too much about everything and I'm used to having to like calm those emotions down and then seeing him like cry after scrims for not playing as good as I guess he would have liked to or living up to the expectations that, expectations that maybe he thought we had for him that really show that he cares like to that level that I see myself caring. So for me, that was a really powerful moment because after that, I, when I was walking home, I told myself like, that guy, he sees this as life or death. I'm gonna follow him to battle, you know? Like, yeah, I will do this to life or death as well. That's how I normally do it. So seeing someone else, like, it was almost as if I saw myself. It was so powerful. So, yeah, I got to work with him. I believe in him. Guys, there's nothing to be sad about. You double TP now? On the same spot. Oh my god. Look, look, look. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Someone I teach Javier how to take print screens. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Actually, I'm so rich this game. I got two items and a ruby crystal. I'm happy that Captain Davi stole Nash. Thank you. My captain. We probably can't end if they have Nash because they will just buff their own creeps in their base. What about Hanky? Alright. Down to Elder Fight. What are you guys happy about? I'm happy that we play well. I'm happy that we play well. So yeah, that's it. I'm proud, actually, because what, did, what are you doing with fucking twin brothers, bro? <laughs> One more ugly than other. Look at that from this angle. This is brother. I'm, I'm proud for you. I'm very happy that, you know, everything clicks at this point. Um, you know, the draws are insane. You guys are smurfing insane. We are on four, uh, four wins in a row, you know. Um, it's just showcasing because it's something that I saw from Scrims They are twins, yeah. And I believed in all of you. Last night's win against G2 was probably one of the more satisfactory one, ones that I've had throughout my career. Throughout time, I don't think there's ever been one that's been more needed than this one. I mean, maybe in playoffs and stuff, but in a regular season, this was 
so so important, so very satisfactory to get that win yesterday. The last three games have been really good games, sort mm -hmm. of an excess row against G2, sort of a iffy couple of team fights against uh, Mad, but overall just like really good games from, from the start. So that's a nice feeling to have with us now for the best of three stage. So I think everyone's just really happy to have another chance, more games on stage or from here if we keep feeling ill, I guess. But just more games. I think everyone's just really happy about that. I'm fanatic about playing better, better than scrims, like good in scrims. Then uh, in winter for sure. Vitality is the most dominant scrim, t scrim team, as far as I know. Gross Karinin, grow that beard, my friend. Please. Please, Pete, if you're still here, let, let him know that if he grows out his beard, you guys will actually make top two. Let's say you're good luck charm, man. It's true. Ever since I started eating banana before the game, we didn't lose. So I hope today that doesn't change. What we need to know about this team is... Yes. They like to start <coughs> level 1 on 5. Yeah, they're cheese cheese boys. Um, they usually go either for bot side control push or for you even try to always cover or you guys have to be very precise on saying. If we're diveable, and then our jungle needs to skip and cover. I think Astralis is actually quite scary to play against because they play so different and draft so different to other teams. They sort of remind me about G2 in a way, which is really weird to put Astralis and G2 uh, in the same did, uh, by uh, Astralis is 2018 Vitality is. How you normally put these teams. If I think about the teams right now, Tell today, you. very similar, I think, in like sort of their style and their aggression and their craziness in draft. So kind of scary team to play against, I think. We need to be really cautious with how we play and which risks we take because they seem to like jump at the first opportunity they see to dive people and make level one plans. Like they're really, like really, really trying to get somewhere with the game. So I think we need to be cautious here. Depends but also on the team, a really fun team. Like whenever I watch Astralis play, I feel like they play really fun League of Legends. So I'm hoping that we can have a cool game for the fans, a game where it's like, I guess, Kind of a banger, yeah. <laughs> so the had way to too many shutdown Humanoid jumps. coming through the river as well. He's been chased by Leader who just teleported back. Finn goes forward. Mercurial Hammer backwards to the sky. No, he asked the question. First play. It's resolved with a double. Yeah, game should have been kind of finished after this, honestly. One in return. Two for one. Game should have been kind of finished, but it's like Fnatic are playing LB, Trash, Jace. If you make mistakes, which Fnatic have done some even in the games that they were winning, right? The game against G2 was a bit sloppy, right? The game against uh, Koi was a... Ah, that game was pretty easy. Uh, the game against... Um, which team am I missing? They beat Koi, G2. Team Retics was a little bit sloppy. There was a fourth one. What was the fourth win? Mad. Even the Mad game was a bit sloppy, right? Uh, so it's like... You get ahead with Trish, LB, Jace. You, you have to play Hit flawless. Like, you can't be giving shutdowns. You are not allowed to give shutdowns. ...are starting to conglomerate. The chains won't find a target, but the rocket grab will. Humanoid's passive is pop. Lantern goes forward. Resort throws out the prison, waiting for the first target to fall. Like, this should have been uh, GG. Right here. Should have been lights out. Astralis are running for their lives. The chain just goes wide, but the shot blast does it! GG. The neon cats are thrown down. The glacier Wait, they just, they just removed. The they deleted the grief. The nice guy, Pete. So much work. He didn't the show the grief. But Resort will be the next target. Oscar is taken. Astralis. Oh, that's a hook again. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's, 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 it's hard not to make mistakes with these champs. And it's hard not to mistakes, do mistakes against enemy champs. Who is tomorrow? Anyone who tells you Genji is going to win? Anyone who says that Genji is going to win tomorrow against T1 uh, are just these these Andes that want to be like, oh, I told you so. Uh, but if when T1 
of course they have better odds of winning, right? And when they win, they are not gonna they're not gonna say anything. They're not gonna say anything. They take they zero responsibility. T1, I think I can see a world where T1 loses against Hanwha Life. I can see a world where T1 lose against um KT, but I don't think Genji can beat T1. I think it's like a circle, yeah? I think T1 is better than everybody. But in order to beat T1, you need to have a fucking strong-ass top laner. You need to have a strong-ass top laner. Keen, Kingen are not quite the same. Is Kingen that strong? Kingen has, has it in him. It's inconsistent, but he has it in him. Keen is obviously, like, insanely good. Looking for another Advian by some time with an sentence, but it simply does not matter. Keen is a legend. Keen is quick kills. Really good. 42 in the game, an exposed base, and they're gonna push for the Nexus. They're gonna push for that. The issue is, Keen is insanely talented, but Zeus, like when when Zeus plays against worse players, he makes fun of them so fucking hard. It's like Zeus just makes fun of people that are worse. You know? Pull one seed. It doesn't really matter if we lost. Um, it's kind of actually good that we lost because for me this is kind of like on me because we diverted from picking what we were picking last four or five games. What I want to build here now and what is important. Oh damn! Revealing some juice build, there, guys. Uh, Revealing some juice. I Pete. Pete revealed some juice, guys. Is I want to picking on me because we diverted from picking what we were picking last some juice what i want to build here thank now, you pete for the juice he gave us juice no juice that's juice you're able to tell everyone angel everything directly you know like if you feel like oh hank you're fucking griefing here you are i'm always using hank by the way yeah that's fine <laughs> that's okay if you feel like, oh, hang, you're fucking shit scared here, why are you not flashing in, hooking, you know, mm -hmm. anything like that? Because I honestly feel like uh, we're at the point where you guys, if we achieve this, where you can give feedback to each other and sort of like coach each other, you know, what Ivan was doing now in that room, then that's exactly where we need to be for um, the bo freeze. So again, I wanted to you know, just shortly talk about this because you guys made me very proud. Like, I'm very proud. I don't think it's important at all actually Smurf. where we end up in top eight. In my opinion, bro, what a night and day difference, team, bro. And it seems like every other team. Bro, I don't, don't want to give flag to what's his name, to Crash Crusher, but yo, Natchez is just a lot more empathic with with the players, you know. There as well, there's no clear favorite by any means. The most important thing actually. It's so important. Momentum, it's so important to be in tune with what the players what feel, man. So like important. Good and happy and it's cool. like the more in tune you are with the players, the more information you get from them. And the more information you had, the more uh, precise you can be. The more precise you can be, you know? It's so much, it's so important. Belief in the project. Especially in League of Legends, really especially in esports. If we go in as eighth team, but we have full belief, and everyone's like really fucking on board with what we're doing here, I think that will be the difference maker, not if we're fourth or fifth. It's about keeping the momentum now. It's not about finishing uh, higher up in the standings. My goal at least is to play as I know in the LEC, being able to perform in the States. Yeah, anything that involves the management of people, like right? Uh, anything me, that involves a, a large group of for, people. If I can make that, I can be a pretty good top laner in the LEC, but I I have to achieve that first. I'm not really looking a lot like at Twitter, honestly. Like I'm not checking it a lot. I check it a bit and I get a lot of support, which I didn't think I would get, honestly. I for sure appreciate that. When you don't feel that people is gonna support you and you see it, it actually helps a lot, you know, when you don't really expect it. So I, I really appreciate it that fans like try to cheer me up even though I Played pretty bad some games and they still believe in me. All right, fantastic video, Pete. Smurfs it again, guys. Pete is an absolute legend. Pete is just an absolute legend. Pete, Swalaspa, Peterson is the goat. We give it the like. We also download it, guys. We're gonna download it. No, I'm kidding.